Oh yeah, welcome to the Fridge Spies Toy Room. It's the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Dig it. Uh, regardless, this is another unboxing. And this one I'm pretty excited over. It is the WWE Ultimate Collection, or yeah, Ultimate Edition of Sergeant Slaughter. I think these are the uh, of the Coliseum Home Video versions of the figures. Um, it's their special edition line. And it says on top, and that's an order, maggot, because uh, it's uh, Sar the Sarge himself. There's a piece of art on the side. It says Ultimate Edition. Then let's pop it open on the front. We got a piece of art of Sergeant Slaughter himself uh, waving the American flag. So this um, is a version of... Um, it's like I'm a huge uh, Sergeant Slaughter fan because A, he is a huge crossover with G.I. Joe, which I was more of a fan than him in G.I. Joe than I was him as a wrestler because as a wrestler, he was a little before my time when he was doing like his some of his best work. Um, then he left for G.I. Joe. Uh, this, this is a, a pretty cool diorama looking piece of box. It says, I'm a maggot in a tan hut with the fans. But anyways, he uh, was doing some of his best work before um, he left for G.I. Joe. And then he went left for G.I. Joe. And then he didn't come back until a bit later. <laughs> and and that, was, that was heartbreaking for me when, uh, when he returned. But uh, it says, that's an order. Cobra Clutch. But um, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. It looks like. They've, they've got some, probably some of the actual workers uh, as fans there. So this packaging is, is awesome. Um, it's got the uh, the blue burst in the background. It's kind of reminiscent to the old LJN figures. And uh, on the back, he even got a file card, which is even more awesome. That just hits all of the right spots for me. I remember when they actually announced this i was like oh i have to have that slaughter and then when it went up for sale it was like instantly gone i don't even think i i met the window like when i when i went to look for it it was already sold out so it was heartbroken um then you know a little bit of time has passed and i thought about it and i picked up a, a slaughter off the secondary market but on the back uh it says it's the ultimate wwe action figure that you always wanted free featuring advanced articulation Okay, that's just that. But this says, Sergeant Slaughter, listen up, maggots. There's only one WWE legend who could twist his opponents into submission with a Cobra Clutch so bad that they think they've gone through boot camp, and his name is Sergeant Slaughter. Ready for battle in combat camo and powered by military might, Sarge is the star-spangled superstar who has red, white, and blue pumping through his veins. Ch challenge him at your own risk. So this was the uh, regular edition, which was all blue and then <laughs> it's so funny i didn't think i'd get the uh this uh this chase version i they a guy uh the guy that i bought this from he sent me the box without the figure at first and it was an accident like i kind of freaked out i was like oh no i got had the guy sent me a box but i was like that's the chase box is like with no figure i wonder uh I contacted him and he right away he just sent me the regular figure and said just keep the chase box so I was like that's cool because uh, I can at least compare the two and one he's got the jacket on and one he doesn't and one's got a black background and one doesn't so very cool um, so if you're wondering what the what's the difference I believe it's just the packaging um, this has a collector's packaging where you can just pull the uh, the card upwards, which is pretty cool. It's cardboard in between, just card backing, so that just comes off. Then we got the Sarge here, and he's got several accessories on already. He's got his uh, his whistle, his hat, his sergeant hat, and um, his glasses. So we will see what's going on with that. But yeah. I contacted the guy after he mailed the wrong one, um, asking if he wanted the, the Chase packaging back. I was like, um, hey, man, I'm a collector. I know. I get it. It's like, hey, it was a mistake. I'll send it back to you. I don't care. Um, 
But uh, he was like, no, I'm, he was purging all of his stuff. So he said, just keep it. So uh, that's why I guess I acquired both packaging along and a figure. So this uh, this Sarge is awesome. <laughs> he he's looking jacked for uh, for the Sarge. Um, like I, I've gone back and watched some of uh, his earlier work, and he had some pretty big arms, but you know that that's about it. Uh, he's always kind of just a big old refrigerator sized figure uh, character, but I like that he's got uh, the his red, white, and blue on his trunks. It says USA on on his uh, on his tank top, and got the glasses it's looking like the sarge man so that's pretty cool then let's take a look at the accessories it's got a little box and it says accessories included inside so excited to see what's in here don't really know that but well don't remember just know uh i wanted this sarge so i can do a boot camp match with uh uh, the Iron Sheik if I want. So, oh man. Yeah, it's got a whole, uh, couple of alternate hands. A different head. That looks a little bit uh, like he's got a yelling head or fatigued head. One or the other. And his um, his drill instru instructor, instructor um, stick. I forget what it's called. And underneath all that. Looks like he has a jacket, which is always it's soft good, which I always love when when they do the soft good as opposed to the the hard plastic. Um, so let's go ahead and see if get this on. I have to take off his hands to get it through or not. Uh, possibly. So it's fine. Oh, glasses came off. Hat came off. Let's see. Oh, he's got a he's got a piece of tape holding everything in place back there. Uh oh. Now that I've taken that off, everything's just gonna fly off probably. Um piece of tape. Let's see if we can get this in here. One two you maggots. <laughs> See if we can get that on. It's looking good so far. Okay. Let's see. But yeah, <clears throat> it's got the grimace. Let's go ahead and change the head off just to see how that how that looks. <laughs> it's all mad about stuff then let's go ahead and give him a pointing finger give him a holding stuff hand and he's got his mad face on going on with this jacket what is going on with that okay got that let's get his stick it's kind of bent a little paint on the on the end there um let's see it's beaten stick giving orders to the joes and other maggots so, awesome. There was a, uh, a G.I. Joe figure that was like a special edition that came out of one of the cons where he came with the championship belt. And I always wanted to get that one. I was like, man, that, that figure looks awesome. But um, I always passed. And, and when this one uh, came out, I was like, oh, I'm not, not missing another special edition of the Sarge. Um, I met him at, uh, at a Comic-Con one time and... Just pretty cool, you know. Um, I was just throwing my like to stuff. And that was pretty much it. Um, but you know, called me a maggot and moved on, <laughs> as as one does. But yeah, this uh, this Sarge is looks awesome. 
it's pretty much all I want for uh, for a, a rustling version of the Sarge. Um, it's going to be a couple more Sarge unboxings pretty soon here because I got the G.I. Joe one and uh, the Action Force one. So or one of the Action Force ones, there's more than one, but this one looks this one looks pretty good. Um, I only had had one. I might go with this this one because it's it's uh, it probably looks all right next to some of my Joes already. Let me see, because in the cartoon he was a pretty big guy. Let me just grab, uh, let me just grab Zartan, one of the Joes that's next to me, just for a height comparison. So next to Zartan, he's pretty big. But like like I said in the cartoon he was massive so it's not uh, not that crazy so um, yo Joe right uh, you maggots but man when he turned heel as a kid and fought the Ultimate Warrior for me that was uh, that was a heel turn man I I mean there were some tears like ten year old Bert was uh, not doing not doing too well regardless thanks for watching like subscribe leave a message. Oh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me in your Halloween. It's pretty cool. Uh, you maggots. <laughs> getting, my, getting my wrestlers all mixed up. There's too much wrestling fun going on over here. Anyways, like, subscribe, leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.